Hey, what's up, YouTubers? It's Mark Methods, and today we'll be taking a look at the materials required to perform the 90,000 mile service on a Toyota Prius C. Five quarts of 020, some fully synthetic oil, an oil filter, gasket for the drain plug, four quarts of automatic transmission fluid by Toyota, cabin filter, and engine air filter. You'll also need a few tools, which I will list. All right, now let's get started. Go ahead and grab the owner's manual where we can find all of our fluids and things like that. So in the back, we have this alphabetical index. We're looking for our engine oil capacity Alrighty, so here you see that we, with filter, we'll need 3.9 quarts of oil and it'll be 0 020. Since we're doing the 90,000 mile service, we'll also need to know how much transmission fluid and what type that we will need to replace. And here we can see we need Toyota automatic transmission fluid, uh, 3.5 quarts for the 2013 Prius C. Before we drain the oil, let's uh, remove the cap so it can vent. In order to drain the oil, we'll be removing the oil drain bolt using a 14 millimeter socket and wrench. Once loose, Get your drain ready. Once the oil is basically drained, we just need to swap out this washer with a fresh gasket for the oil pan. Um, the ones for the Prius C are a little different, but I'm sure you could use copper or aluminum or whatever. But this is very similar to the OEM part. I'll attach a link in the description if you want to get some of these gaskets. And then do oil it up a little bit, get some of the old oil. Hand thread it in so that we can stop dripping out this old oil. And what we'll want to do now is clean up some of this dripping that's occurred around here. So we can detect if this leaks after we torque it down. Next, we'll want to torque down the bolt to 28 foot pounds until we hear a click. And there we go. What we have here is an oil filter socket. This one is AC1093. This fits with the Prius C. There are alternatives to this that you can use, such as a strap or other tools, but we're just gonna use this. Once you start getting that loose, you want to get your oil drain vessel lined up. 
and spin it off with your hand. You may want to let it drain a little bit at this point, or continue spinning it off. So now what we're going to do, we're going to take our new oil filter and we're going to lube up this o-ring. I'm going to go and actually fill this up with oil as this is an upright filter that I can get away with using this like a cup so that I have oil when the engine starts. Now that I've filled up the oil filter, lubed up the o-ring, I'll now be attaching it. Hand tight. So next time, I might not need to use that tool. That should be good enough. I purchased this vehicle used, so I'm missing the covering underneath. Before we drain our transmission, which the drain plug is here, we want to make sure that we can remove our fill which is on the other side, over here, by the axle. Now all you're going to need is a socket, short extension, and a 10 millimeter hex. Once it's loose, you can remove the plug, and you know you're good to go to remove the drain plug, that way you won't get stuck if you drained out the oil and the filler plug was either stripped or damaged. All right, so now we need to remove the drain bolt. If you have a tough time with this, you may need to use a mallet or an extension. Back it off by hand. didn't appear to have uh, crush washers on them, so I'm just going to torque this back up to 30 foot-pounds. That clicks. I'm going to be using the factory automatic transmission fluid as recommended by Toyota. I wouldn't play with automatic transmission fluid. Always get the manufacturer approved stuff. I'll be using this to pump it in. Basically, it attaches to the top of the bottle. Got a hose. Put the hose into the fill hole and begin pumping. You want to keep doing this until the fluid begins to seep out the fill hole. That way, you know it's full. As you can see, it has a nice red color. What came out was pretty black and old, so it might have been the original fluid in this car. This is going to take a while. Right there. 
side. And there we go. All filled up. Now what we're going to do is we're going to clean up our little mess we made. Put the drain plug back in. And now we'll torque this side up to 30 foot pounds as well. Perfect. So we just got a couple more items for our 90,000 mile service. We will be refilling the oil and swapping out the air filter and the cabin filter. So let's start up by topping off that oil. We need about four quarts. So this is a five quart jug. We're just gonna try to get to that level line. Tip to prevent it from bubbling out is you can actually flip it sideways. And we should be within range now. Let's see where we're at on the dipstick. I look like we're right on schedule. Next, let's change out the air filter. There's a tab here and here. And you should be able to wiggle it out. The filter doesn't look too bad, but it definitely has some debris in it. It should probably be replaced. This is a non-OEM filter that I got from Amazon. I'll post a link in the description. Sure, the two tabs in the back line up and reattach. All right, so next up, we're going to be swapping out the cabin filter. First, you gotta open up the glove box. It's a little easier if you empty it out before you do this, but you can just squeeze on the sides, pull, glove box will come out. Over here, there's two tabs. reveal our cabin filter. This one's a little dirty, it's pretty old. Got a nice fresh one from Amazon. I'll put a link in the description if you want to get this cheap one. OEM is always an option. You're going to want to find the airflow arrows and make sure they're pointing up. Slide it in this way with the ribs facing you. Put that back on. Now over here we have a piston. You're going to be putting this nub through the first hole. The second hole doesn't get attached to anything. do is attach the bottom. See if we can stretch the piston out and get that hooked on. Okay. Push. There we go. Fresh cabin filter. Now that we've performed our maintenance, we need to reset the reminder that appears when you cycle the key on. Now, first thing that we need to do is get the trip to show the odometer, and we're going to key it off. During the car animation in the beginning, what we're going to want to do is press the trip button three times and hold on the third before the animation completes. One, two, three, 
And as you can see, it's counting down at the top left of the maintenance screen and it says resetting maintenance data. And that's it. So now if we turn it off, push on the ped brake pedal, power it on. No more notification. And the service is complete.